Okay, everybody, we've got me and Megan in the basement today, and we're going to be pulling a ton of orders. We have sold a ton of stuff on eBay. Uh, we just sold one item before we came down here that was probably more for that one item than I would have made in two days at my previous job. So we're going to jump into this video. We're going to ask Megan. We know the important question that we're going to ask. Mm -hmm. We like your shirt. Everyone who likes Guns N' Roses, go down below and let us know what your favorite Guns N' Roses shirt is, song is. And uh, what's your favorite Guns N' Roses song, Megan? Well, Sweet Child of Mine. Sweet Child of Mine. That's my first favorite song ever. It was your first favorite song ever. So she's yes, a huge Guns N' Roses fan. That was my very first favorite song. But their most underrated song, I think, is Estranged. Uh, that's a good one. Yep. What is the first mm -hmm. item that we pulled that we need to pull for shipping um, today? We need to get a t-shirt. A t-shirt. So we're going to pull that and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we sold this Oklahoma Sooner shirt. I think we sold it for like 12 bucks. Not too bad of a pickup. Reminds me of my buddy Jason Deason over at Thrift Trader. Uh, he's an Oklahoma native. He lives actually outside of uh, Oklahoma City. So uh, if you haven't checked him out, go over and check his channel out. He buys all kinds of neat stuff out of storage sheds. Great guy. Does an auction and uh, has a wife that's getting ready to have a baby. So that's really cool. What's the next item that we have to pull? We need some more Prince Lionheart wipes refills. Okay. We're going to pull them and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. This is a... Prince Lionheart Everfresh System. Don't know. No idea what these are. We sold them for $14.95 shipped. That's not too bad. Um, I paid 50 cents for them. What's the next item that we got to pull? An Anchor Soundcore Flare Plus speaker. Okay, that's just right over here. That's the last one of these items that we had. I made a bit of money on these. This is the Flare. So it's the blue one. Uh, we paid, uh, I think we paid like 15 bucks for it something like that there's a price there but that ain't what we paid paid like 15 bucks for it it was a retail arbitrage item from walmart we got that from brickseek brickseek's really good if you don't know what brickseek is it's a program that uh you can subscribe to it it's actually a website not a program that you subscribe to and you can go to it every day and it'll give you brand new walmart clearance items to go look for that happened to be the brickseek item that came up that day and i bought three or four of these and we sold them all and made excellent money on them what is the next item that we got to pull the sony vcr the sony vcr is right over there so that won't be too hard to get this i picked up at the estate sale that we went to i haven't uploaded that video yet because i have to do a voiceover on it but this is the vcr that i bought there i paid 10 bucks for it and i believe it sold for how much 69.95 69.95 so 69.95 it came with the remote and an extra cable um not too bad for a ten dollar pickup what is the next item that we've got to pack we need some hats some hats Which they'll be right be there right underneath there. this so i'll be right back as soon as i move all this out of the way and i'll show you what hats we sold okay guys these are the hats that i sold we actually sold uh two bauman oil hats here bowman um they sold for nine and twelve bucks so those are going to the same guy and his last name happens to be bowman and then we sold this really awesome Levi Garrett hat. It did have a little, a little mark right here on top, a little dirty mark. I don't know if that could have came off if I would have tried wiping it off, but I didn't. Um, I don't even know what that is. It looks like chocolate ice cream. But we sold it for almost $50 shipped. So it was kind of dirty. It had a little dirty, dirty right there. I've actually got three of these hats. One of them uh, is my personal hat. It's upstairs. And I probably will list it because I don't wear hats like this. So for 50 bucks, uh, I think I will take that all day long. Okay, Megan, we've got more orders to pull. What's the next item that we need to pack for our customer? Um, we need the a -static, um the radio, ham radio mics. Oh yeah, those are right over here. We'll grab them and be right back. Okay, these are the mics that she was talking about. They're A-Static 4-pin 636 LSE mics, and uh, they were brand new. We bought them. Actually, right here is the price tag. We paid 10 bucks a piece for them. We sold them for 32 bucks a piece. They'll go priority. You could put them in a, you could put them in a in a box, and they'd go pretty cheap. Or we, and they're too heavy for first class, so we'll probably ship them priority. And uh, after it's all said and done we'll probably make 20 bucks on the pair that's not too bad and what is the next item that we have to pull uh 
Seth Thomas clocks. The books. books. Yes. Okay, let me go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, these are the books that I picked up from the estate sale. I actually paid like four bucks a piece for them. Um, not too bad. This one here has a little bit of water damage on it. And they are very expensive books, but I knew that the subject matter was definitely going to be something that would probably pay off. I have $8 invested in them, and the set of books actually sold for 50 bucks, free shipping. Nope, actually sold for 63 63 goes, okay, one guy made me an offer, and then another guy bought them straight out. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. We've been having a problem on eBay with heavy items and medium L items going missing and not being delivered. For an item like that, those might go priority. I'm not sure. We'll have to see because I am just really worried about shipping $63 books right now through uh, Media Mail because we know that we have talked to the post office and the post office said that if you ship Media Mail and it's heavy, that they will set your items to the side until there is room on the truck. And I think that that's what we're experiencing right now even with priority mail, is that they are taking our heavy items and they're setting them to the side of the loading dock and they're not putting them on the truck for delivery until they work through some of their backlog of mail. And that's why some of these items are not coming delivered because we had to refund 178 bucks for a set of weights the other day and that one hurt. But it's not gonna hurt very long because the post office should give us most of our money back for them. We've had to file how many insurance claims? Three? Let's see, we got one that we filed and they paid on real quick. Yeah. Like they've paid on it within like two days of me filing it. I got the check really. It was crazy. Okay. And that one I'm, I was waiting. I think I can file it today. Okay. So we're going to file that one. So that'll be our second one. But I've got another email from a guy who, um, I got another email from a guy who uh, said that his item was late and he was wondering where it was at. So I said that we were going to put in, we have to do that, put in a trace on the item. And then I got a negative feedback this week from a guy that just said in the negative feedback that it was all about the shipping time. That it was my fault because essentially it was my fault because the item didn't get there on time. Um, and it's still not there. They moved the delivery date out on it. And um, I think it's supposed to be there by August 21st, but he left me a negative feedback. We have contacted eBay about that negative feedback. We're hoping they remove it. So we'll let you guys know. In a little bit hopefully in one of the next two or three videos they will let us know and hopefully the feedback will have been removed because that's definitely not our fault i don't know whose fault it is right now but the post office is completely swamped that being said megan what is the next item up for pulling <laughs> i always want to say up for bid the next item up for for pulling what, what's the next item we gotta pull it's a towel rack it's an old, old towel rack oh yeah those are how much did that sell for yeah, right. 50 bucks plus shipping. 50 bucks plus shipping. Wait till you guys see this item. You're going to be super impressed. Yes. Eh, it don't really matter. Oh, she's trying to... We could grab a cleaner one, but this is what sold. I mean, you can wipe it off with a wet rag, uh, but yeah, we'll take that one. Um, this is what sold for 50 bucks. It's a Coronado. It's a 1960s uh, OEM in the package, I guess. Uh, towel rod, the collapsible towel rod holder. That sold for 50 bucks, and it originally sold for $2.69 or $4.98, something like that. Holy crap. I don't know why somebody would pay 50 bucks for that, but we're glad you did. Thank you so much for buying from us. Uh, I don't know what your name is. We'll call you Steve, because I think that's what a lot of other people do. What is the next item that we got to pull? <laughs> It's a Commodore 64 part. Oh yeah, that's right over here because we just pulled the wrong one out. We were going to be slick and try to pull pull it out. Oh, which one was it in? Um, I it was oh, maybe it's that one. There we go. There's the brown one and then there's the white one. I don't know if these work, but I told them if they didn't work that, you know, let us know. We'll take a return on it. Um, this I bought in a box. If you remember the Commodore 64 mice that I bought the other day, and they sold for like 65 bucks or 60 bucks or something like that. This one here, this sold for how much? 45. 45 bucks. And if you've seen, I already still have another one in there. So between all of those parts, I'll make $150 back off of $1, Megan. What do you think about that? $1. Awesome. That's awesome. Speak up. Tell them. It's awesome. Awesome. There we go. Guns and Roses. What is the next item that we got to pull? And we need our bottle of perfume. Oh, yeah. Tell them. Oh, I'll tell them. 
She walked by this. I didn't walk by you it. walked I by it, it. And I looked at it. You walked by this. And I said, I'm going to have to show that to him. Uh -huh. And the next time I looked, you already had it. You so. walked by it. You I didn't pick it up. Why did you not pick it up? I did pick Tell it up. Tell how much it sold for. $126. $126 and she walked right past it. Holy crap. That's insane. What do we do next time at an estate sale we see perfume? I picked it up. But no, you didn't. You found you, it before I could show it to no, you. No, you didn't. How did you pick it up and then I found it before you could? I didn't I pick it up. I picked it up and I set it back down. You, took, you don't set it back Shut down. Up. Okay. Really Anyways, $125. bucks. we are just, we're, we, we, we play fight people. <laughs> but still. 125 bucks. I think it was what two dollars because I think it had four on it. Right. For regular price. Right. right. Two bucks into 125. That's pretty darn good. I don't know how much we've sold today, but there's quite a bit. There's quite a yeah, bit. We do have some weights too, but yeah. Here. Well, yeah, we have what we have a 20 pound set of weights and, and, an, eight pound set of and weights. an eight pound set of weights, and I got a 10 pound set of weights. I got a list. So that's everything on this part. I'm gonna go upstairs and after I help her get some boxes for this stuff, and I've got another project to work on in the antique store. So. Hold your biscuits and we'll be right back. No, I don't think he bays behind. I thought I was done. I thought I was going to go upstairs, but apparently, apparently some more retail arbitrage sold. How you like them apples? Look at that. My little pony. You're my little pony. You're my little red pony. But these are really cool ponies right here. And uh, I paid five bucks a piece for them and it just sold on Bonanza. We don't, the only way we know what something sells on Bonanza is we see like, where did that PayPal payment come from? And that's where it came from. Yeah. Say goodbye, Francis. Bye, Francis. Okay, guys, it's still a pretty big mess up here in the store, but I kind of wanted to show you guys what I built the other day. I built it out of pallets. Just a little display to put back here so I could hang little stuff off of it. I'm going to put all of this jewelry here. It will all be hung on the outside of this wall here. Got my snowshoes right there. I built this up in the middle so I could hang some artwork off of it. And I'm going to probably put some shelves in here once the larger furniture pieces sell same way over here i could hang more artwork and stuff from it which would be really nice and then when we wrap around over here i've got more wooden tables and um some artwork that's i love this i love that barn print and i absolutely love that that's freaking awesome another little uh uh painting there i love art um i can't paint and i'm not very artistic but i definitely can appreciate it so i had actually moved <clears throat> these if you remember were actually right here and i moved them over here and i've kind of got everything in my display there i've got some little chalk figurines here a little kitty cat um and then over here when you come through I've got a little cabinet right there with all the all the stuff in it. A little wooden armadillo and a little Indian guy holding his corn. Uh, first time I seen that, I didn't think it was corn, but we'll leave it at that. But that's kind of what I did. Move this case right up against the way there. And I need to find a better home for this because I have almost tripped on it like 10 times. And then you come out over here and I've got my little deer. So that's pretty cool. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I love my store. I just wish this COVID stuff would pass so that I could actually um, open back up. That would be really awesome. That would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you what I've done back here. This is, of course, my green screen that I put up so that I can take photos in front of it. Um, what I do is I move my lights on either side of it here, and you can see it doesn't really cast a shadow if I get my lights adjusted a little bit better. Um, so anyways, what I did the other day, if you watched my video that actually came out today, this is uh, the 20th, I think. I could be somewhere in the neighborhood. Um, what I did is I made a video and I showed you from Goodwill, I actually got that Lazy Susan. And what I did is I put my mannequin on top of that so you can just spin her around see how well that works don't look don't look see how well that works oh, I, guess, I guess i gotta go i don't know but anyways i guess uh, uh it spins around so whenever i'm taking pictures i can gotta be careful where i grab her um i can put my uh put my mannequin on there 
and I just spin it around. Now, what I'm going to eventually do down there is I'm going to, they make them in wood, so I like to find a wooden one. And then what I want to do is actually just glue it onto the bottom, to the base, so that it will work a whole lot better. It won't be so wibbly-wobbly, because right now, if you're not careful, the mannequin will fall over. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I'm um, showing you guys some of the stuff. I'm actually in the process of listing clothes right now. I've got all of these shirts listed. I've got some motorcycle shirts. I've got... Uh, this is a cool old 19 vintage 1980s graphic tee. Uh, here's a Def Leppard t-shirt from the 80s. Just a bunch of really cool stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see a lot of this stuff over there. Looks like my wife brought some boxes up. But if you follow us on Instagram, you can see a lot of the shirts that we list. I'm always posting pictures of merchandise that we have listed. This is that awesome shoe. I'm sure some of you guys have already seen it. That thing is freaking huge. So, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you do, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I definitely appreciate you guys for watching. You have a lot of opportunity on YouTube now to watch all kinds of reseller content. So, if you are the 1%, if you are the 1% gang that follow me, I appreciate that. Because they say that on average, 1% of your viewers, people that watch your channel, were subscribed. And that's you guys. So, you never know how much you mean to me. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Keep on digging. Keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together sticks together. Goodbye.